Hi, thanks for joining Beckley UK today. And today we're gonna to be having a look and talking about the new Google Pixel phones. So the ones I have in front of me is the 4A and the 4A 5G. So let's get into it. And if you wanna stay updated, hit that subscribe button. So firstly, looking at the box, fairly standard. To open these up, um, there's nothing miraculously special that comes within the, the box. You've got your charging cable, um, you've got your SIM tool, but one really handy thing that I think, you know, you've got your setup guide, but one really handy thing is this data transference tool. I think that is really easy. It's called the quick switch adapter and it does help you transfer that data over immediately. I think that's a really nice touch from Google. N not everybody has them anymore um, in their boxes. So I think that's something really special. On first impressions, the phone itself is stunning. Um, it's absolutely stunning. You can see this one I've turned on just before we got here. So the screen, the clarity, but to look at them from the back. So let me just do that with the 5G. I think they're beautiful. Um, I think it's a real big move for Google to start moving into the business space a little bit more. Having a sleek black design to rival some of its competitors, maybe from an iPhone space or other Android based phones. And I think when people hear the price, so the 4A RRP is for 349 and the 4A 5G version is 499. I think people are very shocked when they see this sort of level of quality. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I think both of them really do justice. And I think Google are really making moves into the business world with these. Um, the sleek, black, you know, plain, I think it's what people want to see. It's people, they don't want anything too flashy as their work phone. And I think it's really nice. I think the other nice thing to mention here is that they have a very similar look and feel. So it doesn't matter whether somebody has got the 4A or the 5G enabled version, there's a very similar look and feel with a few slight differences, but I think that's really nice. Nobody feels put out because their device looks clunkier, looks older, looks cheaper. Um, and I think just because it's cheaper, it doesn't mean that it's any worse. It's just whether you're gonna make use of that 5G. I know often some people have a phone for their executive or senior level staff and others have one for their um, more everyday stuff. I think something to consider here as well, and it's not something that Google is shouting about a lot, and that's why I think we need to talk about it, is the environmental consideration. So all three phones, so I've only got two um, here, they also have a Google Pixel 5. Um, all three phones have been made with recycled materials. Um, I think that's really important, and I'm hoping that what it'll do is it'll push other big brands to uh, get on board and, and use recycled materials. So the basics for the 4A, so it's a 5.8 inch display. Uh, it's got a 3,140 milliamp battery hour. So Google is saying that's 24 hours of battery use. If you have a look at the Google Pixel 4A 5G enabled version, it's a 6.2 inch display, so it is slightly larger. And this has actually got a 48 hour battery life. So. Google have really made moves and have listened to what people were saying about the battery and they've made moves to improve it. Now, another thing to do with the battery that I think is really important is that they have set it up so it uses AI and machine learning to learn um, which apps need your battery most. So they can prioritize and make sure that you've got battery for the things you use and you're not wasting it on the things that you don't. So the 4A will be launched with Android 10 and the 5G will be launched for Android 11. So let me have a look. This is one that I configured earlier. Um, so we can have a quick look here. The responsiveness of the screen, you can tell it's so snappy, um, really clean, really nice look and feel to it. So very similar um, to some of those more expensive devices. Obviously I don't have anything on here, it's brand new, um, but I think you know people really get on board with that. It looks beautiful. So there's only one SKU for these. So it comes with six gig of RAM and 128 gig of storage as standard. So that's what it comes with. Another huge part um, of this new launch is the security. Security has always been at the heart of Google phones. Um, and they've now released this Titan M chip, which is actually integrated at bootloader level. 
So what it will do is every time the phone is powered on, it will make sure that nothing malicious has attacked it. And I think for a business phone, that's exactly what you want. I know that you know you have a lot of emails and you've got a lot of things that are very important. And I think knowing that the security is deep down and it's using APIs to ensure that only trusted apps are running, I think when it comes to protecting data, it's the Google phones have it. Now, something I want to show you because I know that I benefit from this because I don't want to say it, but I have lost many a business card on the way home from um, a conference or a meeting. Now, the Google phones have Google Lens. Google Lens isn't new, and I'm sure some of you have had it on your device for a little while now, um, but actually it's so useful. I just wanted to show you how it can work. So let me start that again. So you go from your camera, just to show you how simple it is, more, and here, lens. So that can help you with translations, live translations of documents or signs or books, titles. Um, but something that you can also do is if I scan my business card here, and I can either translate it, I can go shopping for it, add it to a shopping list, or I can search. So as you see, it comes from Beckler Direct. So what you can do is you can add the contact, call, text, email, and all from your phone. So you don't even have to remember to not lose them. You can add them directly into your phone. That is something that I am definitely going to make use of. And uh, I think it will save me from going, oh, I know I met someone who does this, but I don't know where their business card is. Like I said, it's not new or exclusive, but I think it's a really nice touch when you start thinking about a business phone, little things like that really heighten the experience. And although not necessarily a business feature, I know, but I think we do need to talk about the camera. So you'll see here that's got a single camera on the back, the 4A, and the 4A 5G does have the triple camera. So it's a 12 megapixel, megapixel camera. Uh, let's have a look if you can see. You kind of saw it on the Google lens, but it's a bit hard. If I hover the photo over, hover the camera over the desk, you can see it's picking up all of that grain, despite the fact it's shiny and it's got lights on it. I think it goes a long way to speak for itself, that camera. The 5G version has a better nightscape um, camera and it can also do group selfie mode and there's a few other features on there um, in camera wise. The other thing is you do also get with the Pixel phone the unlimited photo storage so I think that's really nice like I said although not a business feature however because of its dual sim capability you can have two personas on the phone so you could have this as both your work and personal, and then I'm pretty sure that photo storage comes in a lot more useful when you're using it to take photos of your family, your holidays, your friends, whatever. So you can have two, like I said, two personas. They've got eSIM capability, so you can have your one SIM card inserted, then you've got your eSIM capability, so you can really split out those apps as well, making sure that you're not checking those work emails on the weekend, uh, making sure that you're not on your personal phone at work. I'm sure none of us have ever done that. Now, if anything I've said today sounds interesting and you wanna talk a little bit more about how we can implement this in your fleet, get in touch with your account manager or get in touch with myself. My name's Tori West. And if you've tried it, let us know how you're getting on. Let us know if you love it. Let us know what you wanna see more from Google. Let us know in the comments, hit subscribe and see you later.